upkeep of the ice is, it, that's the most important part of any rink. Uh, people, uh, you know, obviously you're selling to user groups, you want everybody to, to feel safe out there, to have a good experience, right? You don't want big cracks or, you know, big divots or, you know, you're going up and down. That's what we do with the Zamboni. So every time a group gets off, every hour or hour 15, whatever the slot is, we take the Zamboni, we put a, a whole new sh sheet of ice on it, right? So that it's smooth for the next group. And, uh, and so, like I said, everybody's safe, everybody's having a good time. What we have is the newest, top of the line, most energy efficient because we live in a desert and it's a little harder to keep ice frozen. You know, in July here when it's 115 degrees outside, there's miles of tubing that pump glycol through there that freezes the ice on top and also keeps the subfloor warm on the bottom so we don't end up with permafrost or anything else that could cause damage to the ice surface itself or to the subfloor of it. One of the biggest uh, enemies of the ice is hum humidity. We have a dehumidifier. We don't per se have a air conditioner in here. The ice surface cools the air, but when the humidity gets up, I think we have our set at 55%. When it gets over that, it kicks on and pulls all the humidity out of the air because the drier the air, the better the ice surface is gonna be. So the Zamboni, which you can see behind me, right? It's a, uh, it, it essentially we call it kind of a lawnmower, right? Because it's a fairly simple machine. It, it looks like there's a lot going on, in it, and there kind of is on the one end. But if we look behind that big white box, that's empty, right? That's where snow gets picked up, gets thrown into. Everything on the other end of it, down below, that's where all the stuff is moving. There's two different sources of water in there, right? There's cold water, or cool water, which we call wash water. And then there's hot water. The hot water we keep at about 140 degrees, the cool water we just get from outside, whatever kind of room temperature is. So the way that the Zamboni works is behind all the wheels, there's the wash water, which puts water down in front of the blade, right? So what that's doing is it's pushing up all the dirt, all the loose snow, kind of getting it ready for the blade. The blade then scrapes that up, picks it up into these big augers. So the augers are running from the outside into the middle, right? So there's a horizontal auger. There's a vertical auger that then brings it up into the hopper that I talked about before, the big empty box. Then behind all of that, we lay down that 140 degree water. And what that'll do is it'll fill in the cracks, it'll kind of smooth it out wherever the blade didn't get to, right? And so it'll, it'll kind of melt that top surface of ice to make it nice and smooth and shiny again. It's, uh, the, the machine, it's, it's intimidating to learn, but once you're on it for a little bit, it's, uh, it's, it's not too bad.